Hey, everybody, it's Survivor Buddy Gordon Holmes here with your exit interviews, final five uh, from Survivor 45. What a, what a finale last night. As you can tell, uh, my voice is gone, so I'm just going to reuse this intro. So if you've heard me saying this before, feel free to skip ahead. Uh, a couple quick orders of business. My uh, recap is available at Substack. Uh, I'll put a link down below. Also, my graphic novel, The Bad Guy, uh, is available, which is written and uh, illustrated by yours truly. It's a heartwarming wrestling story. You know, like all those heartwarming wrestling stories. Uh, uh, if you enjoy me, if you enjoy this content, if you want to help this channel, uh, that's a great way to do it. Swing by there. It's only five bucks. Uh, legacycomics.com. Again, I'll, I'll put a link down below. Uh, also, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. You're going to want to subscribe because we have some fun things planned for the off season. Um, and with that being said, let's see uh, what whoever I'm talking to has to say about last night's finale. Uh, just a heads up, my voice is gone. Uh, oh, good. We had to get around that. <laughs> I, I just talked to Austin. He said the same thing. Um, yeah, I, I told him my wife's a, a, a prof, professional singer and a church music director, and she woke up and when, when she saw my voice was gone, she got, it was like Christmas for her. She was like, oh, I get to hit fancy teas and, 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 and cough drops. So, um, oh, I know that routine from back in the day, you know, you're a theater kid like me. Yeah. I gotta know. I, I, this is, might be the weirdest way to start this interview. What was the college show where you were in your underwear? Heavens. That's been such a huge question on Twitter. Everyone's like, what show? What show? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Franny Marin. Fr Franny Marin and I were betting Rocky Horror. Uh, yeah. which, which I, uh, tell me, that, like, I did Rocky Horror, gosh, 20 years ago, and I played Rocky Horror, and I said, yeah. there's no diet in the world, like, you're going to be half naked in front of people. Nope. There's no motivation quite like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, 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 watching your game. I felt for you. I felt like you needed a partner. You needed someone out there to trust. Like, I'm like, you, you kept coming up with like these good moves and then you kept getting cut off at the knees. Dude, I needed Caleb, man. He was my guy. He was my guy. It was like, I was like, so like nervous and early bellow. Cause I, I literally heard my name night one in the shelter from the girls. I'm like, damn it. Me like day one. Yeah, shoot. And so like, you know, I go to Bruce the next day and then Bruce is like, Okay, this is gonna be good. We got we 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 got this. And I'm like, you know, Ke Kelly looks like she's in charge. She's she looks like she look. I mean, she look at her. She's Kelly Wentworth. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. It's very similar vibes. And so I'm like, she she's a threat. And then like Bruce comes back to me. He's like, Yo, dude, don't worry about it. We're in a, we're in alliance with Kelly. And I was like, Okay, okay, cool, cool, nice. All right, great. They were saying our names last night, but okay. And then it just it was like. So I always felt like I was on the back foot at early Bella. And then at new Lulu, like I felt like Caleb, like really want to work with me. And I felt like Caleb and I, we had really good back and forth strategic conversations. And it was just the first person to like make me feel super comfortable. And so it's like, I really needed, I really wanted him in the game and I really needed him in the game. Cause I think you're right. I think I really just needed a, needed someone who was a partner. I think like after the Caleb boat, the perception of me was like, Oh, Jake's, Jake's make trying to make big moves all the time. And like, I get that's like what the narrative kind of became. And like, cause I did try to make a big move to save Caleb. Cause I think it would have vastly improved my game. And then, you know, when you're kicked down the road, like for the Kendra vote, I try and, you know, Hey guys, I'm here. Like, what do you want to do? Who's down? And then for the Bruce vote, it's, you know, Oh, well, Bruce, Jake is going to go. If Bruce plays the idol and Bruce has an idol. We all know about it. And it's like, I can't really take a back seat at that point. I tell you, this is this was a season of like amazing parallels between uh, Austin telling D about Julie and it biting him, and then her not telling him, and it, and you know, and and it helping her out. Like you have these two perfect pairs that are working in sync together uh, with a you know with the the Reba four, and then you've got you. You just need a right hand, or you need a, a partner in crime, or something like that. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I need something. Uh, like watching it back, it seems like there was a lot of woulda, coulda, shoulda. Um, are you able to compartmentalize that and be like, Hey, you went out and played survivor. And I, I still think you did an awesome job, uh, despite Thanks, it, it, like things falling apart. Uh, like I said, like, it just almost goes to show you need somebody out there, but like, watching you, do. It, you watching absolutely it, do. Yeah. I'm sorry. But and watching it back, you, have you been able to laugh, forgive yourself, whatever you need to do to, to, to feel good about it? Absolutely. Like one of the things I said when I got out, I'm like, I don't need to be viewed as like, a Boston route, like some amazing survivor player. I just want everyone to know that like I left everything out there. And I think that came across in the episode. And I think like in terms of um, doing what I did and everything kind of falling apart at the Caleb vote, I think that, I think it is the correct move for me. I think me and Caleb had a terrible approach at Katora. I, th I think it would have been the right move for her as well. 
But like, to be honest with you, it's like, I don't even know if I make the move if I'm in Couture's position. Like, it's a really tough ask, even if we weren't lying to you. You know what I mean? So I, I'm, I think if that works for me, the game goes much better. And then I'm with Caleb and like, I love Caleb. Caleb is wicked fun to work with and I trust him. And then also like, if the shot gets taken at him or me, it's like people are probably taking a shot at him first. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what's the deal with Jeff having to bring up missing puzzle piece? Like, I love the guy, but come on, dude, give, 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 oh, Jake, a, give, give Jake a break. Give Jake a break. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, it was just like, oh, you know, it was just like, I was so like in that moment, like in tribal when he was for it. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall, it's yeah. like, I'm focused on what's going on with this idol and this whole plan right now. Can we not, can we not talk about this right before I think I'm about to do something really cool? <laughs> it's almost like it's his job to push people's buttons. Yeah. I mean, like, no, but je- like, I mean, it's like, I wasn't diligent. Like I missed the puzzle piece. Like it's very like, I don't know if you're a big brother guy, but like Jeff and the clown shoe, like back in the day. And you know, it's just the one piece and I, I missed it. You know, I think going down for the keys again, didn't really like affect too, too much. But yeah, I just I, I couldn't see that piece from where I was, and it messed me up. What has the the fan reaction been like to your game? It's been super positive. It's been super positive, and, and like I said earlier, it's like I think everyone knows that. Like I, I left everything out there, and like I tried to, you know, do the best I could, and like I left it all out there. You know, like I mean the. Uh, like, oh, Jake took, took too many big swings. It's like, honestly, at the certain like late stage of the game, I felt like I had to, to get win equity. I needed something to work, like just skating by it and think it was going to give me any win equity. And like, I had to be able to take credit for something. So it kind of forced me in a position where I felt like I had to do those things and just nothing worked out. At final four, uh, at the challenge, uh, you ended up breaking, uh, you know, the, the setup. And, and just people at home, I've run that challenge before, a version of it. That is killer on your legs. Like, it's just like high stepping. So was it a matter if you just didn't hear Jeff and you're trying to rush? Um, I didn't you... hear Jeff. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't hear Jeff say it. Like, because in my mind, looking at it, I thought it was bungee cords. I'm like, there's no way this thing is breaking. I think I'm making a high IQ play. And um, because when you knocked it over, you couldn't like stabilize it with your hands. So I'm like, why am I going to high step all the way over just to get the stuff back? Mm-hmm. Let me like just walk over it. And then I can like, slowly lift my foot up to stabilize it i thought i was making a big brain play when actually it was <laughs> i broke yeah. the chat and also in your defense and apparently i'm your lawyer today um hey i'm a secret lawyer um <laughs> you know when when you're out because like, you know i've been out there with the press and we run the challenges and they they treat it just like a real challenge where jeff calls it and they shoot it um after that second or third challenge you don't hear jeff anymore no. you're just focusing on on the on the goal no and it's like during a lot of challenges, like I'd go back and forth with Jeff on the banta. And like, I think like one of the reasons I kind of blame myself for the final five immunity challenge is that I was bantering with Jeff. And like, cause I don't like, I don't get, I'm not an athlete. I don't get in the zone by like tuning everything out. I like, you know, I keep blabbing on, you know what I mean? So that's kind of how I get in the zone. And so I'm like, damn, I can't, I can't do that again. So I think like for the final four, I definitely like was like, I need to tune everything out and just focus in and, it was to my detriment. You had some some health issues early on. You passed out a time or two. Was there any worry about you getting taken out of the game, or was it was it not that serious? I was I was super worried. Um, but like the 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 doctors said, like, hey, you're in you're in good shape. Like I I never passed out before Survivor. I haven't passed out since. Um, I think the thing they were more concerned about is when I hurt my ankle at the mergatory challenge. Like I bent my ankle all the way back on that net, and that like puffed up like the size of the balloon. And so that wasn't looking too hot for a couple of days, but uh, yeah, I was super nervous that I was getting pulled and I was just so stressed. And it really made me appreciate that. Like this could end at any moment. Like even like, I think the first day I passed out was day six, five or six. And like, I, I just like, I need to milk this for everything. Every, 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 even like the crappy stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, you gotta take it all in. Cause you're never doing that bad. If you're on survivor, you're on survivor. It's a dream come true. Uh, we do a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better. Uh, I'll give you a word, give you, give me, I'm sorry, give you a name. You give me a word or a couple of words, whatever you got. Uh, let's start off with Austin. Austin. Oh my God. Such a kind guy. I, I love Austin so much. I love him. He's such a great guy. And like, I feel bad because I didn't recognize how great his name was. 
during the game, but he really, he really did amazing. And your hoodie buddies, so- apparently. What was that? Hoodie, hoodie bro. Oh yeah, dude. I messaged him like, I mean, like early. I'm like, dude, we're, we're wearing these for eggs and here. He's like, all right. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> uh, let's try uh, Katura. Katura. She's powerful. She's powerful. And what she's been able to overcome in her life. I don't think 99% of people could overcome the things that she did and get herself in a position in life where she is right now. She's powerful. She should be a lawyer. She should be. She'd be oh, dude, I'm so happy. When I found out she was a lawyer, I was like, oh, man, I always said she should be a lawyer in every single confessional. I'm not, like, I'm, not supposed to, to, I'm not supposed to spill this yet, but season 46, all secret lawyers. Every <laughs> one of them. Yeah, uh, I was like, oh, good. I was all positive the whole time about Katori being a lawyer. Like, I'm like, she's great. She totally should. Let's like, try. Yeah. We need more lawyers like Katora. Let's try uh, Julie. Julie. Oh, my God. Gangster. Gangster. Yeah. Uh, Brando. Brando, funny, so funny. Okay, <clears throat> Kendra, Kendra, free spirit. Okay. Yeah, there's no freer person on this world than Kendra. <clears throat> Bruce, Bruce, old man with love. I love him. <laughs> uh, Emily, Emily. Oh, Emily is so multifaceted. I, I think multifaceted. I think is the word for Emily. There's just so much to her. She's amazing. On all fronts. Uh, J. Maya. J. Maya. <laughs> Theater buddy. Okay. The Theater uh, kid alliance that was going to be. <laughs> oh, you, okay. Uh, I Caleb. Love Caleb. 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 Bot bro. That was the name of our alliance. He's bot bro. Okay. Uh, Kelly. Kelly. Oh, my God. Queen. Okay. Uh, Drew. Drew. Drew's contemplative on anything. Anytime I talk to Drew, I I get more intelligent. I love talking to Drew. And some of my best conversations out there with Drew. Such a great guy. Uh, Sifu. Sifu. Introspective. Introspective. I got out there. He's just like, what are you out here for? I'm like, whoa, that's a lot. But he's in very introspective. Okay. Very kind uh, soul. And let's uh, finish off with D. D. I use I use Queen for Kelly. So what's what's bigger than that? Because she won. D Empress, champ, right? Empress, right? Would that, there would that be queen? I don't I don't know. There's, there's levels to it. Uh, Absolutely. So happy she won our season. Amazing winner. Agreed. So pleased. 100% agree. It's not going to be me. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it seemed like there, there was a, it looked like there might be a tie at some point. Uh, yeah. And we know the tiebreaker is you would get to vote if you had had to choose between D and Austin at that time, who would you have voted for? I thought I was voting when the votes were getting read. I, I would have voted for D. Okay. Um, like we said it, we said it new Lulu, like, all of us, Bruce, Kelly, Caleb, Katora, we were all like, I think D's running a show over there. So you don't even have to be on the same beach as D to know that she's a beast. You know what I mean? I think D, I think D finessed the end game a little bit better. And I think D, D was a threat the whole time. It felt like D was a threat the whole time. And she still got to the end. And it's, how do you not award that in my mind? Not that I, and I think Austin is an amazing runner up, one of the best runner ups we've had. Okay. Well, we're running short of time. I I love that you, your story to me is a guy who keeps falling down and keeps picking himself back up. And uh, I hope I hope you leave the show feeling that way about yourself because I I, yeah. I think uh, you know you had some rough times and some unforced errors and you got stabbed in the back and stabbed in the front, but like you kept getting up and I think that's really admirable. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That's why I want. I just want everyone to know I left it all out there and that's all you did. All right. And someday you, me, and Jay Meyer are going to do a play together. Oh my God! Yeah, right. We're writing, our- writing a musical now, right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the Survivor musical. Uh, dibs on playing uh, Sonia. I called it. That's a good one. Dibs on Chris Doherty. Oh, good call.